Welcome to Train Company Wars. In this series, we'll be comparing many train operating companies to different TOCs on different categories. In this first video, we are reviewing some TOC giants, Avanti West Coast and LNER, also known as London Northeastern Railway. So let's get straight to it with the first category. First up, let's start with the trains that these companies run on their line. Avanti West Coast took over from Virgin Trains and therefore run the Class 390 Pendolinos most of the time, however also run Class 221 Super Voyagers. LNER on the other hand run the Class 94 and the Class 801 and 802 Azuma. This is a very hard one to decide on, however I feel that Avanti West Coast win with the Pendolino just due to its quality. That means Avanti West Coast are currently winning with a score of 1-0. Time for the next round. Next up, we're looking at the routes and stations that these companies serve. Starting with LNER, they run from King's Cross to a variety of destinations, including Leeds, York, Edinburgh and Waverley. Avanti West Coast also run a variety of routes, most of which starting from London Euston to Crewe, Manchester Piccadilly, Liverpool Lime Street and Glasgow. There's definitely a lot of stations, and whilst LNER serving King's Cross, which is my favourite station, Avanti West Coast has to win this one again, just due to the amount of stations that they serve. This means Avanti West Coast is still in the lead, winning 2-0. Before we move on to the next round, please consider subscribing to the channel if you're enjoying the video so far. The next round looks at branding and logos of these two companies. LNER's logo is quite simple and straightforward. It's LNER spelled out in red with London Northwestern Railway written out below. LNER's trains are also branded quite simply, with a red pattern sort of sealing off virgin trains. Avanti West Coast, however, have a nice, nicer colour scheme, with an orangey red triangle and a nice blue across the first carriage of the train. I think Avanti also deserves to win this round as well, bringing their score up to 3-0. In this final round, it's time to bring it up to what the people think. On a TripAdvisor search, I managed to find LNER found an average rating of 2.5 stars, with most people saying it was a lovely journey with them and they had no problems. However, looking at Avanti West Coast TripAdvisor page, they have a rating of 2 out of 5 stars. Even though both companies have more reviews saying terrible than Exigent, that's just TripAdvisor, LNER wins this round. This means that the final score of this video is 3 to 1, meaning Avanti West Coast wins. Thank you very much for watching. As I always say, this is all my opinion, and in this video I had to make some very hard choices as to which side won. If you have different thinking, please do feel free to let me know in the comments as to who your winner is. Maybe. Make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.